okay next option is calibrations in the calibrations which is done by uh, the service engineers and these are after uh, installation and uh, after the pe periodic or the periodic calibrations so, NIMA and all, all. NIMA and all yes so even the periodic calibration like iterative calibration z energy gain calibration EMT learning calibration all these are the periodic calibration to be done uh, periodically like quarterly should be done if if you do a daily QA, daily QA and if it doesn't pass then you have to perform the periodic calibration solvers these are the NM calibrations energy map creation that is if you are using a new isotope for example actinium 225 so energy map should be created for that isotope to get the uniformity in the image energy factor or lewd creation lewd creation is like a single isotope calibration so instead of doing all separately for each isotope you can use a technetium and create the map from the same isotope so currently it is possible for only two isotopes i think for example if you do for the technetium the map the iodine you can create from the technetium map itself it's a projected map yes so it is not for all the isotopes i think it is only for the iodine so so far some correction factors might some be correction there. factors is multiplied and the map, approximate map is created but for the other isotopes it has to be manually created not using this application because that factor would not be available it's not that. available in the algorithm then linearity map creation centimeter per pixel calibration then uniformity maps creation using ratio maps and uniformity map creation corrections viewers camera sensitivity calculation then motion related calibrations like uh, center of rotation calibration fan beam calibration automatic lens depth calibration gantry handler these are the hardware related things which is performed by our service engineers and this one is COR which uh, the technologies can perform. Then X-ray that is the registration calibration of the CT and SPECT which is done by the service engineer. It is done once and if you see any uh, over time over time using the system if you see any misregistration then and it can be again recalibrated. And diagnostics is the option if there is some error message and service engineer want to do some diagnostic runs which is related with some malfunctioning or some component of the system then this application is used it helps the service engineer to troubleshoot the hardware related issues then maintenance maintenance have if you want to archive the QC data or restore the QC data if you want to take the protocol backup and restore you can do you can create any error messages comes you want to create a problem report to be shared with the service engineer for other troubleshooting you can create the problem report from this option archive and the clean problem reports and fru replacement report fru is like field uh, field related some uh, changes some update software update or patches update our PMS is done so they have to document all that and they create some uh, automated report from this option also so this is important like DQA should be done uh, on daily basis and this one is the COR QC check so these are the checks not the calibrations for calibration you have to go to the calibration tab and QC is only for the QC checks. No. If QC checks fails, then we have to go to the calibration and calibrate. That's it.